and he did an exceptional job on it, put panel in it, and it's, you can't see it here, but it's wood pegged in on the sides, glass at the bottom with a shelf for novelties of some sort. But the only thing I did on it was paint uh, the picture of the dog named Chimer, and I believe we did maybe three of these. Right. One for each grandchild, and they all had different pictures of the dog uh, doing different things. And one I remember, he was in a red wagon, uh, radio flyer wagon. And he was much bigger than the wagon. And, uh, but that one's got a butterfly, right? It looks like the dog has uh, got a butterfly trying to land on his nose. See if I can open the... Yeah, that's exactly right. It's hard to... You might see. want to move it. I can point at it. Yeah, I see the butterfly now. It, well, it's right in the channel arch. here is uh, being chased or hit, uh, the other way around by a butterfly. Uh, and I, th I did a particularly good job on this, this old clock. And uh, we made a number. I, I would hate to know how many versions of tall clocks, big clock, battery operated or mechanical. And what since you say, does this clock chime? Yes, it does, because the dog's name is Chimer. <laughs> yeah.